So today we're going to be replacing an LCD on an HP G61 327CL. And one of the first things you want to do is, is you want to get the battery out. And the reason for that is, is because sometimes the laptop can hold, you know, a little, a little circuit, a little power, and you want to try to prevent ESD, electric static discharge. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the battery out, and then you're going to need a couple tools. A small Phillips, a flathead, and a small prying tool because this particular model doesn't have screws around the bezel. It just gently pops off. So because of that, you just want to, you know, have a little prying tool just in case you need it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over. We're going to open up the screen. And uh, basically, this whole piece is going to have to be pried off, okay? And then we have two screws, one here and one here. And you're going to need to use a small Phillips to get in there because it's, it, it's kind of behind the corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to start prying this off. Okay, we're going to gently, gently get our fingers in there. And then you just want to kind of work it and then it will start lifting. You want to be gentle, you know, you don't have to pull too hard, but you want to pull just enough. And then we're just going to gently pry this off. And like I said, sometimes it's going to stick and, you know, you can use your fingers or you can use the prying tool. So, okay, we got this off. We're just going to gently put this back like this. And the next thing we're going to do is hit this screw and this screw. And you're going to want to use, you know, sometimes a smaller Phillips just to get in there and get them started. And then once you get them started and get these out, we'll get this bezel out and then we will be on our way to replacing the LCD. And I will be right back. All right, so we're back. And basically, what needs to happen is, once you get the two screws out, which they're kind of small, they, uh, they might be a little bit difficult to get out, but you just want to get a small screwdriver in there, work them the best you can, careful you don't strip them. Then, you're going to flip it down, flip the screen down, and behind it there's a little there's a little face plate with some clips. And you're gonna want to go ahead and, and use a prying tool and just get in there and gently pop them up, make sure that there's a little space, and then you're gonna open it up. And then once you get it open, you're just gonna gently wiggle the corners and it's gonna come right out. Okay? And then we're gonna put that down and there's four screws. There's one, two, three, four. And these screws are holding in the rail mounting brackets. And then there's one, two screws in the corner holding the LCD to the, um, uh, the, uh, the back panel. And what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to remove these screws. Okay. We are going to remove the corner screws. And, you know, you just want to get in there, you know, just what a... a a small small Phillips head will be fine and just get in there and just get them out okay and then for the side screws you're just gonna gently push the LCD forward just a little bit and then we're just gonna start working this mounting rail bracket and getting these screws out there's two on each side um, you just wanna you know just gently pull it back you don't wanna break nothing you don't wanna go too hard or too crazy and make sure that the back of the LCD is tilted back so when you do get the screws out, it's not going to fall forward, okay? And um, then we're just going to go to this side and we're going to do the same thing we did to the other side. And we're just going to remove the screws, okay? And then once we get these screws out, we are going to drop the LCD and then we're going to unplug a couple things. Alright, so we got all the screws out. And now we're going to gently put the LCD, you know, lean it forward just a little bit. Okay? And then what you have to, what, what uh, we have to do is, is we have to unplug the, the camera. Okay? There's going to be a little camera wire. You can go ahead and unplug that. Alright. And then once you get that, 
it's kind of just in there with two little plastic clips. Just pull it out, just so you you know it's easier it's easier to work with. And then we're going to gently lean the LCD. There's going to be a little piece of tape, and this is where the LSVD cable plugs in. And we're just going to pull that out, and then we're going to gently put it forward, and we're going to unplug the inverter. It's just a little cord here. And then once you get that done, once you get the inverter, just want to gently pull it out. Once you get that done, the screen's going to come right out. Okay? So there you go. That is basically how you take apart the HP. Okay? And um, this is what it should look like when you get the screen out. And then you're just going to go ahead and reverse the steps to put it back in. Um, you know, plug everything in, gently put it up, make sure that the back panel is leaning back. You're going to plug in the inverter, and then we're going to plug in the back of the LCD, okay, with this cable. And then we're just going to go ahead and put the camera back up here on these little plastic mounting brackets. And that's it. And then just go ahead and put the front bezel back on with the two corner screws and then you're just going to gently use your fingers and pry it back together and that completes our video on removing the LCD for the HP G61 327CL I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, check out um, the link www.labtopscreen.com